satanic cult of pedophiles and cannibals. Does that sound like something you are behind? Or well, I haven't, I haven't heard that, but uh, is that supposed to be a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, you know, if, uh, if I can help save the world from problems, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to put myself out there. And we are, actually. We're saving the world from a radical left philosophy that will destroy this country. And when this country is gone, the rest of the world would follow. President Joe Biden releasing a statement Tuesday calling the deaths horrifying and heartbreaking, adding the incident underscores the need to go after criminal trafficking rings. Hunter Biden could face federal sex trafficking charges for transporting prostitutes across state lines. Documents and videos obtained by the Daily Mail show Hunter paying to bring the hookers hundreds of miles to his hotel. This all happened during a five-month $30,000 sex binge where Hunter wrote false checks disguised as medical payments to pay for prostitutes. Some of it financed by his father, Joe. But we are starting from a position of strength. So that is something that people can take comfort in. But what about American strength overall in this post-pandemic phase of recovery and renewal? Our poll shows only 34% of Americans, one third, believe life in this country is going well. The good news, that's up from one in four last year. Nearly half say they're scared, while nearly another half feel hopeful about 2023. Two years after the January 6 riots, our poll also showed roughly three in four Americans agree the results of last year's midterms were legitimate. But most Americans believe our democracy remains threatened, another area that showed improvement, but with still a long way to go.